Nee. They're not doing anything now, do they? I think we should be live now. Don't want to come over here, so. Yeah. Yeah. By telling your friends you've started a live video. Yeah, joined. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. We're just waiting. We're just having a little bit of a test. Um, trying to get into the comms page. So, thanks for um, joining in. We won't be long. We're just going to give it a little minute. And then we've got some waves. Oh, you can see. Bliss has just joined. Hi, little P. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. My fellow cupcake queen. Somebody called Lynn Leeds United has joined. Oh, what do you want to say about that, Mr. K? Uh, I don't want to talk about Leeds United, I'm afraid. Can you see me alright? Yeah. Yeah. I can if I follow you. Leeds United will not have no football jokes today. She's not taking it personal, she's wished you good luck. Thanks, Linny. Somebody called Sam Boss says you're looking good in your pinny. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just going to wash my hands before we start. I am live at home, so I haven't got my um, safety shoes on, but I've got my matching, my matching shoes. Nearly three o'clock. Got ISS Food Services are waving. Alison Martin has joined. Ooh, Ali, well done for getting onto Instagram. Your first time on Instagram. Emily Lidget's joined. Hi. And what is waving? Woohoo, wave, I'll wave back. Somebody, just... somebody calls Slack Alice Sarah. Oh, that's, uh, I've told you about Sarah from the office. That's my little running Sarah that looks after our little number cruncher. We've just got a minute, guys, and then we'll, um, we'll I think we'll crack on. So thank you. Um, thanks for joining, everybody. And thank on a gorgeous sunny afternoon, a bank holiday eve. It's coming up to my birthday, and it's VE day tomorrow, so there's no better time to have any cake. So thanks, I'm Anne Kavanagh for those of you that don't know me and my Mr K is holding the camera and it's our first time on Instagram Live so we are super duper excited. So over the next couple of hours... Um, couple gonna, of hours? Alright, maybe um, 25 minutes or so. I'm going to be showing you how to make um, these vanilla cakes into gorgeous super duper amazing cupcakes. And there's absolutely loads of ways that you can actually jazz up your butter, uh, your cupcakes. But today we're going to be doing buttercream and also we are going to be doing a little bit of fondant making as well. So before we crack on, I get loads of questions about what really makes a good buttercream. And the answer is the butter. So your butter needs to be, before you make your buttercream, your butter just needs to be nice and soft just so you can squash your fingers in it like that. So not so it's too hard, so it breaks the beater, and also not so it's too soft that it runs off your plate, but just nice and soft, so that consistency. Um, and never, ever, ever use margarine in your buttercream. If you did, that goes against all code of conduct of buttercream making. There's not really a code of conduct of buttercream making, I've made that up, but if you use margarine, you must stop now because that is just Right, so we're going to go, we're going to crack on and I'm going to show you how to make a spaghetti bolognese cake and this is really easy if you first, if you're new into buttercream icing and piping. So all you need is um, a little round flame nozzle or you can use a disposable bag and you can just chop the end off. I prefer a disposable bag um, because you can just throw them away and then you don't have to wash up. So um, the best way to actually fill up your um, bag, I find, is just place it over um, a glass. I've got some plain vanilla buttercream here. And then you just plop it in. Plop your buttercream icing in, like so. Pull it up, give it a good squeeze and twist the top. And there you are, that's your bag filled, nice and easy. Now this cake came about because Dave Bridge, who is one of the development guys in food and hospitality, once upon a time said to me, can you do me a favour? And I said yes. And he said, 
can you make me a hundred cupcakes and I had two days notice and they had to be food related. So this little cake, the spaghetti bolognese cake. Excuse me um, chef, but Sam Boss wants to know how do you make buttercream? Um, butter, the buttercream recipe and also my cupcake recipe is online now so you'll be able to see that. So, the, um, so back to spaghetti bolognese cake, this was made from then and I learned a very valuable lesson. If anybody says to you, um, can, I, can you do me a favour, always ask what it is first. So for this you just need to pipe squiggly, squiggly lines and it doesn't matter if you make a mess so here goes. And this is the spaghetti. The spaghetti is going on to the bottom of the cake and you just cover it all up. I don't like you keep interrupting you but there's already an online battle going on in terms of who you're going to give these cakes to when you're finished. Ah uh, well I'll tell you that in a, in a minute. Right so next for the meatball we've got Ferrero Rocher. We're just going to put that in some jam for the tomato sauce. We're just going to plop that on the top of the cake. And then, of course, what goes on the top of spaghetti bolognese, some parmesan cheese. And that's not parmesan cheese, that's biscuit crumb. So we've got some parmesan cheese here. It's not real parmesan cheese, it's actually grated chocolate. So grated white chocolate, just on the top like that, and there you are, that's really easy. That's a nice, easy spaghetti bolognese cake. And that's one that you can make with the children as well, which is really good. If you want to practice and you're new to buttercream icing, you can actually pipe on some uh, greaseproof paper. You can do your practicing and then you can just plop your icing back into the bowl and use it again. Praise indeed, Simon Price says that's ace. Woohoo, thank you Simon. <laughs> Um, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to use a grass nozzle and again if you're new to using buttercream then this is an easy way of actually piping. So these are just some that I've done earlier so that's a little bit of grass and I made a little uh, few decorations but we're actually going to do this one and this is actually the cookie monster. So for this I've already got my bag filled up because I'm just conscious that I haven't got two hours and I've only got 25 minutes. And it's got a grass, this is what we call a grass nozzle um, in the bottom of the piping bag. And again, we're just going to make a mess. So we're just going to push down on your piping bag, pull up. If you follow my buttercream recipe, it'll be really nice and easy for you to pipe, really nice and soft. If you need to make it a little bit harder, you can also um, just add a little bit more buttercream. So there you go, your cake is all covered in some nice blue hair. I've got two eyes that I made um, earlier just out of a bit of fondant. I'm going to pop those on there like that and then I'm going to pop in a little mini um, Oreo and there you go you've got a cookie um, monster cupcake. So um, the next one that we're going to do is this one. And it's a little, it's a classic swirl cupcake and you will see this in um, quite a lot of the shops. And again, it's just easy really how to make. So for this you just need um, a round nozzle like so, Mr. Cameraman. And, Sorry, there's uh, such a lot of competition going on. I could, I could spend an hour reading all the diatribe that's taking place. So, any questions? No, no, it's all, all about... Who wants the cakes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you in a bit, in, uh, in a little bit. There's so, some compliments as well, to um, be fair. You need a little round nozzle like this. If you don't have a round nozzle for this cake, what you can do is just chop off the bottom of your piping bag and it doesn't really matter. So hold it um, in the middle of your cake, squeeze and do a round blob and then just pull up. And there you go, you'll see that in the window of some cupcake shops. It's a nice little classic cupcake. And for this one, I'm just going to finish it off with a few sprinkles. And there you are. That's a nice little round classic um, cupcake. The cakes um, tomorrow, they're actually going out into the village. So we do, I live in a little village in Royston, which is in a town called Barnsley, which is way up north. So if you haven't already um, noticed, I'm a Yorkshire girl. And the cakes are actually going out to our Royston watch group and we're going to give them out to all the pensioners for um, VE Day. So that's one that I've already had uh, got bagged up. Um, and on the back there's a little message that says handmade with love. So we're going to deliver those out to the pensioners tomorrow. A couple of questions, Chef. Okay, um, yeah. Simon wants to know, are you still using beer or flour? I am Simon. Simon never heard about beer or flour, so I'm using beer or flour as well. 
Um, I'm not sure what's the matter with flour at the moment. It's a bit, I think flour's taken over toilet rolls, self-raising flour for example in the shop. So I did actually make these yesterday. So these blue cakes on the bottom of here, whoop, nearly went on the floor. Um, I made these with uh, plain flour. So I used six ounces of flour, six ounces of butter, six ounces of sugar and um, six ounces of eggs, which was three large eggs. And I actually popped in two teaspoons full of baking powder and they're okay and they taste all right. But obviously I didn't eat them. If anybody is watching from Weight Watchers, Mr. K tried them. Dan the um, chef would like to know what temperature do you cook the cakes at? Cook them at 170 degrees for um, 22 minutes in one of my ovens. So as you can see, I've got a few. If you just point the camera over there. So, um, She's still I, very bossy, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've got a, 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 few, uh, a few ovens. Right, the next one that we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to do a classic um, swirl cupcake. And for this, you can use your swirly nozzle um, to do lots of different swirls. And we're going to make these like these that's on here. So your classic swirly cupcake, um, again, if you just hold your piping bag in the middle and if you just press down and do a right nice round blob and pull up and there you go, you've got your classic cupcake and your classic swirl and then I'm just going to put a little chocolate stick in there. You can actually put a little bit of sauce on and make it into a nice cream um, sundae. Still using the same nozzle. Michael Cooper says he agrees you are very bossy. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, Michael Cooper, and if you're not doing your steps today, you're going to be in big trouble. Um, and oh, talking about steps, there's one from Red Hot Chili Steppers saying this will scupper your steps today, Yeah, Anne. whatever. I'm going out for a run later, so you can catch up if you can. Right, so for this one, we're still going to use the same nozzle, but we're going to do some little swirls instead of a big swirl in the middle. Uh oh, Michael is back actually Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> She's changed the name, or he has. And there you go, I've just piped some little swirls on that one. And, as you, and what we can do with that one, you can just jazz it up if you've got some um, little beads. According to Lynn, that's what they do in New Zealand to make self-raising flour. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Thanks for the tip, Lynn. It's always good to have somebody in the wing. I have got my friend over in the corner, if I get asked any questions, um, she's uh, socially distancing herself and she is ready for any questions that I can't answer. Alexa, say hello. Hi there. Hi there, hi there, says Alexa. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how, um, this is one of my favourite cupcakes. This is actually a strawberry cheesecake. So I, in my fridge, I have got a, a little bit of buttercream that I mixed with um, some Philadelphia. I'm going to take out the middle of this one and I'm going to use this little plunger um, just to take out the middle and I'm going to fill it up with some jam. You can actually get these quite easily and cheaply online um, or if you haven't got one of these you can actually use an apple corer or you can use a knife but if you use a knife you must be very very careful just in case health and safety are watching. A lot of Alexa's is responding hello too. Oh, that's lemon, good. lemon honey muff, Jane Hine March. Good. So just take out the middle of that, um, of your cake, and I'm going to pop it and fill it up with some um, strawberry jam. Ben Bolt says, wonder how many steps I'd fuck up if I walk up from London to pick up the cakes. Yep. Maybe enough to knock you off the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Well, I think it's a fair challenge. I'm going to pop some of this cream um, filling on the top of the cake and just spread it out. So it just covers the top. Like... Simon, um, Simon wants to know where did you get that cutter thing? Oh, I got it offline. Um, if you, I'll message you later, Simon, about where I get all my um, things from. This is actually my secret cupboard um, in here. This is all my secret cupboards, but this one is my favourite secret cupboard. It's got all my cutters in and my rolling pins and things like that. Um, and if anybody ever asks you how much you spend on cupcake and equipment, just ignore them and move on really quickly because you do not need that kind of nosiness in your life. It's none of their business. It's a bit like if you buy shoes and you've had them for ages in the cupboard. Jackie says that Andrew Eagles is very impressed with the health and safety. Thank you, um, thank you Mr Eagles. I've got some biscuit, biscuit crumb um, that I'm just going to sprinkle on the top of this cake. 
So on the top of my cheese filling, I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of cheese, uh, biscuit crumb on the top of that. And then using my swirl nozzle piping bag that we um, used earlier, I'm just going to do a little swirl and I am going to top it off with a strawberry. And there you go, we have got a strawberry cheesecake cupcake and that one is my favourite. Simon wants to know where's my cupboard. It's a bit like wardrobe, Simon. I don't have any. <laughs> you are telling big fakes. Right, the next thing, that one of the things that I often get asked about is um, how do you make two colours in a piping bag and, um, and, and how do you do that? Now, you can actually buy piping bags that are split down the middle, but there's no real reason to actually do that because I'm going to show you a way that you can actually fill your piping bags up yourself. So... Here is a little nozzle, this is a rose nozzle. Sam Boss would like to know why do you use buttercream from the fridge? Oh, did that, I only use the buttercream from the fridge, Sam, because um, that one has some Philadelphia cheese in, so it makes it a little bit softer. So this is buttercream that I have actually kept on the side um, since I made it this morning. And I've got quite a lot, and if you don't use it all, you can actually freeze it. You can also freeze your cakes and you can also freeze your icing as well, which I'll come on to in a moment. So we've now got, I'm going to make these two colours and we're going to do some roses. So this has actually um, got Parma Violet essence in it. Can you smell it? It smells delicious. Yes, is, I can. Is anybody smelling the um, screen right now? Um, and this one It'd is a, a bit weird if they were. And this one is a little um, lovely lemon um, flavoured buttercream as well. And this, um, this combination actually won me a prize um, last year down at Lacer. Um, not this cake alone, but um, a couple of cakes that I made. So um, I entered a cupcake class and um, a cupcake, not class, I entered a cupcake, a, a competition. And uh, I won um, gold and I also won best in class. So what you need to do with this, very badly, what I'm demonstrating is... You need to fill up your piping bag um, with, uh, with a colour and squash it down in your piping bag. It doesn't matter if, it, if you fill up quite a lot of colours. Um, and squash it down with a, um, with a pellet knife. And then, just pop that there. And just give that a quick um, wipe. I am still like Monica off Friends. I'm OCD with cleaning, apart from washing up. Um, and then you pop I know my place. Um, your other colour in your piping bag. So you've got a bag now with two colours in. And you just give it a little squeeze until you can actually see both colours coming out because you will have your prominent colour in at the bottom. Right, it's on its way. So for this, we are going to do some um, roses and I will use some yellow cakes um, and these are really easy to, um, to knock up when somebody says I forgot to ask you can you make me two dozen cupcakes so um, so basically if you just start in the middle oh, no, it's switch to me squeeze up oh, it's, you need I need help oh. <laughs> everyone's oh. looking at me now oh um, I have got no idea how to change it it's going ever so well how do we change it how do we change it? Is that it? reverse or that? Uh, there we go. There we go. Mr. K just wanted to get in the action. Yeah, just Sorry about that. that. I'm, glad he, um, I'm glad I had to tell him to put his top on. He wasn't putting his top on earlier. Um, More so, shorts. So, um, squeeze up from the middle. Squeeze down. And there you are. Um, squeeze up from the middle. And all the way around. And there you are. You have actually got some really beautiful two colour roses and here I've got some leaves that I made um, earlier so a bit like Blue Peter so I'm just going to pop those on there and then my favourite thing of all and I've got loads so this is my baby box where I keep all my glitters and all my paste um, colours and uh, this is my favourite thing that I absolutely love and you'll know one of my favourite words is sparkling and if you just pop that on there, it just finishes off 
um, your flowers and there you go that's your two colour roses but it doesn't stop there because we've got five minutes left and the next cake that we're going to do is a, uh, a unicorn cake and that actually takes three colours but I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. A lot of people are saying it was nice to see me despite the technical fall. Yeah there you are. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, but I can't see them. So just a quick... Um, Simon's Unicorn now. A quick wipe, uh, quick wipe and a quick get rid of the glitter. Um, so, this actually, we need a little bit of fondant um, for this cake because we are going to make um, some of these horns here that I made previously. And uh, well, I'm also going to show you how to make some ears um, as well that we made previously. And I forgot to show you how to make a cake, so I'll show you how to do that in a little, in a moment. So, to make the unicorn horn, and this is where all the magic is kept in the um, in the unicorn in its horn. So that's the reason why it has to be extra sparkly. You just need um, two balls of icing. Now this icing is, you can buy this icing from the supermarket, whatever they've got, the ready to roll icing, um, but I buy mine online and this is Renshaw's icing. You don't need a lot and you can actually cut it down into blocks and pop it in the freezer um, as well. So you've always got something in your freezer, you've got your cakes, your buttercream and then also you've got your, um, uh, your fondant icing as well. So, you just need two round balls of white icing, preferably the same, um, the same size. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll it in your hands, but you're going to taper at the top to make like a cone shape. And it makes like a shape like that, which is like a skittle. Um, and then you're going to make, do the same with the other. So you've got two, and that's got a bit of blue icing on it, it doesn't matter. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick one on top of the other and you can actually use some um, edible um, glue like I've got here. Uh, I don't like that. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to cakes. Um, or you can use some water. So you just stick one on top of the other um, like so. And you just give it a twist around. So that's how you make your horn. Simon's asking, what's your favourite cake, Anne? Uh, um, strawberry um, cheesecake. How can you make one for Connie was the final part of the question. I can make one for Connie. And I did actually make cakes for Daisy. And I think she was one, Simon, wasn't she? I made um, Daisy some cupcakes as well. So I've made loads of cakes over the years. But most of my cakes I always, 90% um, of the time, make, uh, make for charity. So there you have, you've got your horn and we're going to like leave this to dry but we just need to put a little cocktail stick in. Simon's happy with your response. Oh that's good. Yes and a couple of exclamation marks. Yeah, no worries. Um, so we're going to pop a little cocktail stick in and we're going to pop it in a little bit of water. It's Daisy. Um, oh it's Daisy. It's not Simon, it's Daisy. <laughs> oh hi Daisy, hi I miss you. Um, and there you go, you've got your unicorn horn. Now we're going to leave that to dry. Ideally, you need to leave it overnight, and this is one that I've made earlier. And what we're going to do with this is, I'm going to show you how to paint it. You can actually get um, sprays or anything like that, but this is what I use, and it's actually gold. You can use gold, whatever colour you've got, and this is gold spark, sparkle luster dust. So you just pop it in a little bit of that in there, like so. Now this, the reason why it's got a peg on it is because it's actually, I didn't want to mix it up with the water, it's actually vodka. Jackie wants to know if I'm baking you a cake for your birthday on my <laughs> No cakes, I'm having a packet of Percy Biggs, that's my treat. Um, so there you are, I've mixed some paint, I'm just going to put a little bit more... Um, Neil from Weatherby Office says hello. Hi Neil, gold luster dusting. And mix it up a little bit more. A big, big smile. We're okay for time From guys. ISS Food Services. Yay! So we've got some nice gold glittery sparkly paint. And you just paint. Just like you would paint your fence. Not that I've painted my fence and I haven't painted my nails. but um, And you would just paint it and 
You, then you'd leave it to dry and you give a question, it another... I'm sorry to interrupt you. Why do you, why do you use alcohol to mix? Um, you can use water, but it's not as good. And don't use gin, just use vodka. The flake, it doesn't flake, it doesn't taste like vodka. It evaporates, but um, it's just the best thing to mix the luster dust with. And then this is a little foam ball that I've got that I'm going to pop it on there to dry. But if you haven't got anything, you can just pop it on some kitchen roll and it'll work um, just as good. So the next thing that we're quickly going to do, because I'm just really conscious on time, is I'm going to show you how to make some um, ears. And um, I've got a non-stick board, a non-stick rolling pin, and this is actually just some corn flour just to make sure that it doesn't stick. Um, I know there's a few people watching for the unicorn cake, so um, so just roll out some icing so it's nice and uh, nice and thin. And like I say, it doesn't you can see it doesn't stick. And then just cut out a couple of circles. So we've got one circle there and one circle there. And then I'm going to use another colour, put inside. Um, whatever colour you've got. One of my tips is, is um, buy white icing and colour it yourself, unless it's a dark colour. Never colour red, black or brown, because that's a nightmare, you'll be there forever. Um, but you can actually get some paste, uh, which is like that. So do you only need the tips at the end of um, a little bit on a cocktail stick, and less is more. And you can also use that paste as well to colour your buttercream icing, like what I've done today. Um, I'm going to cut out another couple of more circles, like so, and for them, I'm just going to make them into like a crescent shape by just trimming off the end, like that. I am going to um, get my glue and I'm going to put one inside the other. Technical question, do you prefer powder or paste colours? Uh, powder or oh, um, paste definitely paste all the time. I've never used powder, so um, I once when I first ever started out, I used to get the like um, liquid colours, and that was just rubbish because um, it would make your icing white and runny. Right, so you just need to do that. Pinch the edge and pinch the top, and then you've got pinch the edge and pinch the bottom, and you've got an ear. Um, and same again for that one. Pinch and pinch and you have got a ear. And your ears will look like that when they're dry and they're going to be go on the unicorn cake which we are going to crack on and get on with now. So for the unicorn cake we've done two colours. I'm now going to show you how to do um, three colours which is... Um, a lot of compliments coming through from your boss. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Said you could make a living doing this oh, compared to your other job. <laughs> oh, I don't. Sometimes I don't know where to, if it would be a bit easier. Where's my pen film gone? Okay. I think I've seen it in here. Here we are. So for this, we need a little bit of cling film. And we're just going to pop that out there like so. And then you need to get, I'll just pop that back in the cling film drawer. Um, you need to get three colours. So we will, any colours, it doesn't matter if you use white or whatever colours you want. So I'm going to use um, some pink and I'm going to pop that on and I'm going to pop it into a line like um, so. George more than. Hi George. Are unicorns real? What a silly question. Oh, of course gosh, they're real. Of course they are real. Where have you been George? Oh he's um, sound south somewhere in um, his left us. So obviously he's forgotten that they are real. Um, and next I'm going to pipe on is, uh, not pipe on, next I'm going to pull up on some um, yellow. And like I say, you can use whatever colours you want. And it doesn't matter if they mix up because they're all going to mix up anyway. A little bit of yellow. I'm keeping my eye on the time. I've got a call with Simon at four o'clock. Simon Price asked me to do this and then what did he do? He put a call in at three o'clock and I went, hello, I'm a little bit busy at three o'clock, Simon. Um, so we have got a call at four and I'm going to be having a cup of tea and I'm going to be having some cake. 
So the next one I'm going to be popping on is some green. There you are. I'm sure if you took this a little bit of time, it would look a little bit better than that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it into um, a sausage. So roll it into a sausage shape like so. Nice and squash it into a sausage shape. And I'm going to chop the ends off. Da, da, da. And I am going to get my piping bag that I prepared earlier with a nozzle in. And you just pop the sausage. Of Sam Ross says not to worry about the timing. Oh, thank you. And Jackie says don't forget it's wine o'clock at four o'clock. Oh, I've got to go for a run, Jackie. I've got to get my steps in. You see, I'm bossy with um, myself as well, um, not just you. So we're going to pipe that through now, and yeah, and it's coming through. So this is going to give us our three colours, and we're going to make our unicorn cakes. Um, so we're just going to do some round little swirls and the, cake, the colours are coming through. There you go. Come on, where are you green? Maybe we should have used a blue one on that one. So you can also do, instead of doing some swirls, you can also do some little stars like I showed you um, earlier and just cover your cake up like so. Then what you need to do is you need to, um, ooh, that's the wet one and I'm now covered in gold glitter but I don't mind. I hate glitter. I love glitter. Sometimes I sprinkle it on you when you're asleep and you don't know. Now what we need to do is we need to pop in the... Um, unicorn horns like uh, so and then we just need to pop on the ears making sure that we've got the same colour ears so I'll just do a couple more because I just want to show you a different unicorn cake well I've got you um, and then the only other thing that we need to do with these cakes and they must have this um, because you're not a unicorn if you don't have no... Have you hid my sparkle, Mr. Kavanagh? I don't. It's a good job I've got some more. Oh, it's there, I'll let you off. That was an apology, by the way, everybody. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, there you are. I'll just pop. And there you are. And that's easy. That's how you make some three-coloured unicorn cupcakes and that was really simple to do so another cup uh, unicorn cake that you can make is just like um this one here that i prepared earlier so this is just a white um a white disc that you cut out and this is just an edible pen so you let it dry and then you carefully draw probably better than me uh, if you're a, a, some eyes on and then we'll just pop some eyelashes we'll not use this one we'll use that one because it's a little bit better um, and then you get a cake oh another cake Carrie says you're so clever but she knows that anyway so. hi Carrie uh, and then you just have a little swirl round the middle you just pop that on there and then you get a horn. Neil says you're a good teacher. Oh, thank you. And then you just pop that in there. And then that is a different kind of um, uh, unicorn cupcake that you can actually make. The one thing that I forgot to do before I leave you is um, I made these yesterday for obviously for the NHS um, and for the E day tomorrow. So um, I'll just use some this icing. Um, so this is an easy way of just doing a quick cupcake. Just give it a little swirl, cover up your cake uh, and then what you can do then is you can pop these um, on the top like so. 
So there you are. So I hope you have enjoyed my cupcaking session. I've really enjoyed you all popping around to my kitchen in Barnsley and joining in with us. Um, I have a fabulous bank holiday weekend. Keep safe, keep smiling, keep sparkling, and I'll see you all soon. Please remember to head over um, to Home Perth next week at three o'clock where we're going to be joining my friend and colleague Duncan Newell in his kitchen. Thanks again and I'll see you all soon. Bye!